Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a drugstore haul. So I have been picking up some goodies here and there. So I have accumulated enough product to be able to do this haul. So let's go ahead and jump into these goodies. So the first thing that I have here is going to be this L'Oreal Brow Stylist Designer Eyebrow Pencil. So I have heard a lot of beauty bloggers and beauty gurus talk about this pencil so I wanted to go ahead and give it a try now when it comes to me and my brows I just love a natural brow I'm not the one that's into the perfected concealer brow look but if that's what you do then go ahead and do it but for me I just wanted this pencil just to be able to fill in the sparse hairs that I do have on my brow. Um, I know that this comes in three different shades and this is the darkest shade which is 315 Dark Brunette. So I am giving it a thumbs up. I hope that you know it works out and it does what everybody is claiming it to do. So the next product that I have is from L'Oreal and it's going to be this Illuminous Carbon Black Mascara. This mascara has been around for a really, really long time and I always wanted to get it but every time I would go it was just something that I would overlook but not this time. I got this mascara. Um, I hear a lot of rave about this mascara saying that it's supposed to be the blackest of the blackest of the black. And one of my all-time favorite um, mascaras from L'Oreal is going to be the Telescopic. I love this one for um, lengthening and this one is, is for volume. So I would figure maybe if I stack them on top of each other, my lashes would be popping. So I definitely picked up this Carbon Black Mascara from L'Oreal. Now moving on to Milani. I went over to their section and I got a few things from them as well. I picked up this Milani Brow Shaping Clear Gel. So with the purchase of the eyebrow pencil, of course I wanted to get a gel where, you know, I can lay down my brows. And this one is in clear, it's transparent. So I definitely want to um, check it out and see what it's, it's all about. Ooh. Ooh. So it is um it is clear. You know, Milani does great with their products, so I'm always and forever gonna be uh a Milani fan. It's just one of my one of my favorite drugstore brands. So moving on, I did pick up three lippies, and I picked up the a more matte lip, the a more metallic lip creams. So as you can see, before I started this video, I started doing some swatches. So the ones that I got is 06 Matte in Love, and I picked. Up uh, 07 automatic touch so there is another one that I want to get I'm not sure of the name but it is really really pretty so I've been doing some swatches these are um, I'm really loving automatic touch over uh, madly in love so I can't wait to wear that um, that one so this is what the shades look like I'm really really loving that and then I picked up another one of their Amori Matte Creams. This one um, is 01 Crush. So it's like a reddish brown, which is really pretty. I really like that. Maybe with a smoky eye. You know, I think that this would really look pretty. So I did pick up another one of these. So moving on to foundations, so I picked up two foundations. I picked up the L'Oreal um, Infallible Pro Glow. So this foundation is the spinoff to their, um, what is it, the L'Oreal Matte, Matte Foundation. I'm not sure I didn't get that one. 
but I was so happy to see that they came out with a Pro Glow Foundation. I know that's one of their highest selling, um, top selling foundations. So hopefully this will work out. It does, it does seem a little bit orange, but that's okay. So the color that I have this one in is in 212 Cocoa. So I'm really, really excited for this one. Never dull, never greasy. Good. Um, the next um, foundation that I have is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This one is in the Matte and Poreless. This is merely just a backup to the one that I'm currently using, the ones that I mix in with the, uh, the Maybelline Dewy and Smooth. So this is just a, a backup. I just, I'm running low on that one. So I just needed something just to back it up. And what I also like to um, do with this foundation as well is like I like to mix my foundations. So yes, I did get me a backup. The color that I have this one in is in 355 Coconut. So the next thing that I picked up, which I was running low of, is this Elf makeup mist and set spray so you know for three dollars it's definitely worth the um the price tag now for me what i like to use this for is either when i'm running low on my mac fix plus i like to use this for pigment like if you have like loose pigments or anything like that the same thing you would do with the max fix plus you can do with the elf setting spray so this is mainly what I um, use this for. Also, I use it to set my um, to set my makeup after I finish applying my makeup, and it does a fantastic job. So for three dollars, is you know bang for your buck. Two purposes, you can't beat it. So the last thing that I picked up is this flawless concealer from Black Opal. I'm kind of disappointed because I thought I would be able to use this concealer to highlight my face, but it just runs so close to my skin tone. It's just not going to work out. So I'm hesitant whether I'm going to take it back to get a lighter shade or whether I'm just going to keep this one for whatever reason or another. But, you know, Black Opal is a black owned brand. They do great products. Um, I love their uh, foundation sticks. I haven't tried their um, liquid foundations yet. Hopefully I can. So, um, yeah, I got this color in beautiful bronze. So that is going to be my drugstore haul. I hope you loves enjoyed the video. Definitely let me know what you think down below and as always don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it really really helps me out a lot and yes loves i will see you in my next video bye guys